Dorothy Strait, Dorothy Elmhurst Strait, born May 25, 1958, in Washington, D.C., is an American author who wrote How the World Began in 1962 at the age of four for her grandmother, Dorothy Payne Whitney, making her among the youngest published authors ever. Early Life Dorothy Strait was born on May 25, 1958, in Washington, D.C. She is the daughter of Michael Whitney Strait, 1916-2004, and Belinda Booth Crompton, 1920-2015. Her siblings include David Strait, Michael Strait Jr., Susan Strait, and Dinah Strait. Strait was named after her paternal grandmother, Dorothy Payne Whitney, 1887-1968, the daughter of William Collins Whitney the U.S. Secretary of the Navy during the Cleveland administration, and Flora Payne, the daughter of Senator Henry B. Payne of Ohio and sister of Colonel 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 Oliver Hazard Payne Strait's paternal grandfather was Willard Dickerman Strait, 1880-1918, the son of Henry Harrison Strait, 1846-1886. After her grandfather died of influenza during the 1918 pandemic, while serving with the United States Army in France during World War I, her grandmother married Leonard Knight Elmhurst, 1893-1974. Her father's siblings included Whitney Willard Strait and Beatrice Whitney Strait, an Academy Award-winning actress. Her maternal grandmother, Lillian Crompton Tobey, was the widow of U.S. Senator Charles Tobey, 1880-1953. Career In 1962, Strait, in response to her mother's question of who made the world, wrote and drew her response all in one evening. Her parents loved it so much that they sent it to Pantheon Books, which published it in 1964, making her the youngest published author. Kirkus Reviews praised her work as a child, writing, Her artwork is in the mainstream of the kindergarten approach to paint and paper, totally refreshing use of color and a wild approximation of shape. Her concept of God's activities during the creation are nothing if not complete after inventing the jungle and its wild animals. He went on to pins and thread, birds and bees. The importance children place on the familiar and the furniture of their surroundings comes through in Dorothy's words and pictures.